You guys are so funny, aren't you? Good evening. Welcome to the Variety Stream. Welcome back. Did you hear about Maple Story 2 having a meltdown? Scoffy, I was in Maple Story 2 literally all day and I saw no meltdowns. Unless it somehow happened in the last like three hours. But I'm sure it'll get taken care of, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, 30 minutes in the game, yeah. All right, so, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so tonight, yes, we're gonna be starting with Sagebrush. Um, should be something about players. Oh, that's not a meltdown. That's just people abusing the GC system. Don't worry, our team's on top of it. Um, so yeah, we are gonna be playing Sagebrush. It's a first person, I don't know if it's really horror. It's more of like a suspense thriller sort of thing where we're investigating the site of a cult after the fact. Um, should run about an hour, hour and a half, I think. Uh, so we're going to do a full playthrough. Also, uh, the developer might be showing up for this during the stream, which would be pretty cool. Uh, we talked about it last week. Um, after that, I got a hold of a new, an upcoming indie RPG called Mysterious Realms that purports to have a very unique combat system, but we'll be the judges of that, I think. Um, it looks cute, so I'm going to give it a try. Uh, and then if we have any time after that, I might get into one of those horror games I was threatening to play back on Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, we'll get started in a minute. Uh, just so you know. So, if you're here on Wednesday, you might remember I was feeling a bit under the weather. So we ended the stream a bit early, I went to bed, got a whole bunch of re uh, rest, got up on Thursday, and then yesterday I worked for like 14 hours, because <laughs> everything went to hell at work. So I'm not feeling super great today. I might be coughing and hacking a bit. Hey Manny, welcome to the stream. So um, this is going to be kind of an endurance test. <laughs> well, I'm definitely, I'm absolutely getting through Sagebrush, like, for sure. Everything else is a little bit up in the air, so. But don't worry, if I wasn't streaming, I'd be playing video games anyway. Is it a tumor? Man, I hope not. <laughs> <coughs> Do tumors make you cough? I feel like if they were in your throat, they would just kind of, like, choke you up a bit, but... Anyway, I got a good feeling about tonight. I think things will be fine. So why don't we go ahead and get into Sagebrush here. Pretty excited about this. Pretty excited about everything. You know me. Group. Man, they love those retro Silent Hill sound effects, don't they? I don't have a problem with that, really. It's very evocative. It reminds me of the good old days. Originally, I played Silent Hill in a uh, dormitory. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. Oh, that's a good idea. Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. She was so pleasant, so confident. She smiled at me as if she had known me as a kid, and we were just catching up after all these years. She told me she could tell I had a hole in my life. She knew what that was like, she said. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling, and she laughed and said nothing, nothing at all, that what she had to offer was free for anyone who wanted it bad enough. I asked her what had helped her. She just said, James. Hmm. James must be pretty good. Maybe I need some James. So I, I think we'll basically be reliving and investigating the experiences of the cult through, like, audio recordings and stuff. Oh, okay, I'll turn on subtitles. Excuse me. I didn't even think to check that. Nice. I love the way this looks. Black Sage Ranch. That's a long way out of Albuquerque. Site of the 1993 Perfect Heaven Mass Suicide. Ooh, boy. Exciting. Okay. Uh, subtitles. Yes. There we go. Okay, now you guys don't even have to listen. You can just kick back, relax. Press E. Oh, no. Not 
gonna lie, you're surprised it actually made it all the way here. You brought some gear in the trunk. Well, we need that then. It, <laughs> I brought wire cutters. Is that, is that the extent of my gear? Damn. I did not prepare very well for this. 12 tapes to find, okay. Will do. Thank you, sir. Or ma'am. Person. Entity. Gate won't budge and you didn't bring anything to bust through. Well, well. I did. I guess it. can hear that my little one is not having a good night. Ah, okay. So you examine it first and then it gives you the opportunity to use it. Okay. Clip through easily. Is this another wander, wandering murder game? Yes. Yes, I believe it is. <coughs> I'm a big fan of those, Coffee. Oh, we can sprint. Hooray. I can examine the table from out here. Moldy dishes littered the table, stained and dusty. There's no food though. Wild animals likely finish the scraps. Turn on. Oh, we'll get back to that in a minute. It's too dark to read anything. All right, fine, Jesus. Turn it on. Diesel generator, keyhole. All right, so we're gonna need a key too. All right, well, maybe we can do a bit of poking around in the dark at least. Pamphlet, it's too dark to read. Nice, the map was in the light. It can be a little confusing getting around our little home. Don't worry, Sister Anna's printing some maps to help you get acclimated. I love that word, acclimated. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we're obviously at the community hall right now. So those are the residences to the north. You can see the, the compass arrow down there in the corner. Uh, there's a school, a fire pit, a farm, cleansing rooms, ugh, mines, chapel and rectory. Offhand, I'm forgetting what the difference between chapel and rectory is. Moldy to say, yeah, I already said that. Lura's Half-Life mod. Half-Life never looked this good. Oh. Well, uh, I had just graduated from college. I like this effect. I know I was a communications major. That part was true. It's spooky mist. So I graduated and I couldn't find a job. I had no idea what I wanted to do and got pretty depressed. It's all pretty standard. My boyfriend at the time said I was holding him back and took off. Yep. So that was that. I could have moved home, but I didn't. I stayed out in California, but it's not like I had any friends there. My parents would call and I would just look at <coughs> how things were going. Aww. I didn't know what I wanted because I guess I didn't really want anything. I would wake up and just count the seconds ticking off of my life until I fell back asleep. Hmm. We were all broken in some way, I think. Some more than others. Don't know how close to home that hits for any of you. Sounds pretty familiar to me. I was an, I was an English major and I didn't have any particular reason for it. It was just kind of the easiest way to get through college. Yeah, it's too dark. Oh yeah, yeah, too dark, too dark, too dark, too dark. Wait, what? Interior's coated in the long dried blackened remains of various melted frozen foods, gross. Gross. All right, so the main thing I need right now is a key. Fiddle with the knobs and their hiss of gas, no clicking ignition, this range is long dead. 
Oh, I can't read the box. Can of pork and beans, just like you see growing up. Green beans. I was never a pork and beans guy. <clears throat> I'm not really a beans guy in general. Holy moly. I can't read. I can't read. They're pretty well stocked, at least. Stacks of cardboard boxes storing everything from jars of yeast and jars of jam paper plates and replacement light bulbs. Hello, Absil. I was worried about you. It's always you or Scoffy claiming first. What's the story so far? Um, haven't really gotten deep into it yet. We've had some audio logs from a girl who I'm assuming joined this cult. Just, you know, listless college graduate. Had nothing, really had nothing to do. There was an intro, uh, that's a plate, but kind of like a key from that angle. Um, <coughs> there's a bit of intro narration about her looking for some kind of purpose. Not too dark. Ping pong table, the only game you see around. It doesn't look like there's enough room to play. Isn't that funny? She's going ham out there. Um, so yeah, and then we found the first uh, recording from her saying that, you know, graduated college, didn't didn't know what she was doing with her life, got depressed. A little Bible quote, oh boy. So right now, um, yeah, the spookiest game of all. So this room, this building, this is the community, oh, the map. We're at the community hall at the bottom center right now. Um, there's no power to it. There's a generator outside, but it needs a key. So I was looking around to see if there might be a key. There wasn't. So we'll do a bit of hiking. Oh, did it? Okay. Also, I can sprint. A little bit hesitant to. This looks really cool. I think I think the low res aesthetic helps it here. It makes it look nice and big and grand, but still like present, you know, not not too far out. Um, let's see. The gate is locked. I know it's it's a necessary gating mechanism, but it always weirds me out that characters in games don't just vault these fences. Well, let's see if there's anywhere else we can go, or if we are... Oh, we might be stuck looking for that key. Yep, I think we are. All right. Let's have another look here. Okay. So we definitely need a key. Hieronymus, quick question. Inside or outside? I'm assuming it's inside. It's in there but obscured. Okay. You answered the question before I asked it. In there but obscured. I guess it's either in here or in the storage room. Flies buzz around a sink pile with unwashed dishes. Man, they didn't even clean up before they kicked off. The nerve of some people. Neither, so it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. That's okay. There's not. There's not a ton of ground to cover here. There's only a couple rooms. <clears throat> I 
Okay, actually, I I kind of think that was plenty obvious. I just overlooked it in my zeal to explore. There we go. All right. Power up. It's weirding me out that the doors close on their own. Uh, that singing freaked me out real quick. <coughs> All right, now we can examine things. Get to know the newest members of the flock. Welcome with open arms and open hearts. My name is Christopher. I'm from Flagstaff. I was a farmer. Fun fact, I hold the record for most blue ribbons. Good for you. I'm Viola, my two wonderful children, my son Lucas and my daughter Julia from Fresno. She'll be helping schooling. Technically Canadian. Peyton, Oklahoma boy. I ran a grocery store in town. I uh, shut down. Father James helped me find something more. I served in the Navy. Excuse me. Candace loves cooking and crafts. Fill his word. I can speak three languages. Josiah. <coughs> Lillian, student at USC. Dropped out because I st couldn't stand the indoctrination anymore. Okay. There's Vance. The stuff that lives in my parents' church. They're filling our house. Yeesh. Okay. You sin, you plague by doubt, you fear death, do you have a nagging feeling that your church doesn't have the answers? There's a reason. Father James can help. Of course he can. Is that him? Intensely focused middle aged man. Holds a book. Less than professional, but his determination shows through. Interesting. Angel walks through an empty field. Saith to him, he that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit, and ye are clean but all. It's like an extremely uncomfortable toilet. You look tired. They know me too well. They know me too well. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw my shirt, but this is how I've been this week, basically. have an issue and her issue is in her flesh be blood she shall put apart seven days and whoever whosoever toucheth her shall be unclean until the mm. really Leviticus Please don't. Please stop. You're freaking me out. Take a book off the shelf. We know the conspiracy can trace itself back as far as the fourth century when Alphanas Alphanasius and his cronies first began to exclude essential works from the Bible. Oh. So this is like, like a truther group. Like the Bible didn't have all the answers, but we do. Monday, Josiah on hymns, Tuesday, gospel reading, Wednesday, Juliet's violin recital, Thursday, gospel, Friday, book of Serial. Doesn't sound familiar. Power's been pretty finicky lately. I'm going to have to restart the generator, get the lights back on, keys in the box. <laughs> Where did it would have been much more useful if I could read it in the dark. <coughs> I know, right? Which which flavor of apocrypha are they into? When we all get to heaven, sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy, his grace, the man is bright and blessed to find his place. When we all get to heaven, when day rejoicing, when we all see Jesus, we sing and walk the pilgrim pathway, how many days, not a shot, be true and faithful, and glimpse onward to the prize, probably that's all. It's very standard stuff. 
standard praises. Leonard, pantry is not your personal snack drawer. Food is for the flock to share. If you keep stealing cookies from the store, you'll have to answer for your crimes in the cleansing room. Oh my. Please pray and reflect on your actions and how they harm the flock. I'm praying for you too. Of course you are. Seething anger. Note about Leonard. Leonard hasn't heeded warnings about taking more than shares food. He keeps swiping snacks. Move his favorite foods into the farm shed and hide the key on the side of the bookshelf next to the ping pong table. Okay, cool. So we know where another key is. I pretty much already examined this stuff. Okay, thank you. I am not I'm not up on my Bible lore, I will admit. My mom took me to church when I was a kid, but not really my thing. Spinach casserole, barbecue, fast ooh, fasting. Pork chops, beef stew, chicken fasting. Did parage for food stores has spoiled. Have to replace the planned meals with canned food stuffs. Huh, okay. Infrastructure problems. And set up so well. Kitchen prayer enables to use thy manifold blessings with moderation. Grant our heart's wisdom. Avoid excess in eating and drinking. <coughs> what is what is the biblical reason for not eating too much? What is what is the biblical argument against? that specific form of gluttony? Is it, is it because there's always going to be other people in need? Is it considered wasteful? Is it just... Is it just a way to try and convince people to do a sensible thing? Up oh, there they are. Gate key and farm shed key. Okay, cool. Got it. Food was scarce then. Hey, hey! Damn ghosts, closing doors on me. Food is scarce back then, yeah. I mean, simple pragmatism is enough of a reason for me. <coughs> uh, brass key etched with the word gate. Taggart's farm shed, really nice of them to label these. The rusting lock fights back, but eventually relents and the gate unlocks. That's some good writing right there. El Shaddai. That sounds familiar. Oh. That's a musical interlude. Alright, well, it looks like we have the run of the place now. Um, let's see. I do have a key for farm storage. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the residences if I can. <coughs> And then maybe we'll head over to the farm. Oh, wow. Brother Earl. Wow, Brother Earl lived in a shoebox. Jeez. Doors rusted shut. Yeah, good, good points all. You have, what the? Brother Peyton. Secured with haphazard loops of chains. What is this all about? I'm looking forward to getting that key. Brother Christopher. Rest it shut. Hopefully we'll get a crowbar or something for those. Brother Elroy. Of course, if it's just <coughs> standard jammed shut, you can understand that. Oh, are these all locked? Okay. Yeah, rusted shut, brother Henry. Okay. Well, we'll just scooch on that. That's a ditch. That surely is. Sister Janine. Sisters, Sister Mary and John. <coughs> oh, this guy's tipped over. Juliet Lucas. Oh, this one's locked. Okay. 
I want to hear check the toilets. Gotcha. I do appreciate the advice. I've, I mentioned before, I do not mind. Oh, this one's also locked. Okay. So we need keys for those. I mentioned before, I do not have a problem with being backseat gamed. When I was in college, I would go over to my friend's place, and uh, I think I mentioned this. Oh, what was that? Exam pregnancy test. I use pregnancy test. It's positive. Oof. I got an achievement, Genesis 316. <clears throat> but yeah, I used to go over to my friend's house, and they had... Um, NES and Super NES emulators on Dreamcast. They'd, you know, burn discs for them. And I would go over, like, every night, and we would just sit there all night, and somebody, didn't even matter who, somebody would would play a game, and we'd just sit there, and we'd talk about it, and just have a grand old time. And that's kind of what I'm looking for these streams to be. Just hang out and play cool games, or weird games, or bad games, and just talk about them. Save all the really hard-hitting commentary from my reviews, anyway. There's anything over here. Genesis 316 is one about human humanity populating the Earth. Ah, that makes sense, wouldn't it? So this is the fire pit. All right, that's a pit. You can have fires there. So we'll see if there's anything on these benches. Examine the patch of dirt. All right, so we're going to need a shovel for that. <clears throat> Spent three hours grinding for that Chris Agrippa. Are you kidding me? I, maybe I got lucky, but for me, the Chris Agrippa was always, like, first base. Oh, oh, they got a little baseball diamond. That's cute. Second base. Maybe some under one of these. Their, their base is barely visible. <coughs> We're down home plate. Man, so in the evenings, the batter would be facing straight into the sun. Seems like kind of a dick move. Pitcher's mound. Yep, that's what a pitcher's mound is. All right. Yeah, I know, man. How many times do you think they tripped and ate dirt on that? Yeah, I would have fallen asleep too. That's insane. I actually, so I, I'm a huge Castlevania fan. And I went through a period where I was 100%ing all the, like, Metroidvania ones. As in collecting every single possible item drop. And, like, in the later ones, every single skill and all every single soul or whatever. And I did that. I did that for Symphony of the Night. I had to print out a... Uh, a guide to what all the items were and kind of figure out by process of elimination which enemies had what. Chrysogram like dropped almost instantly. Um, the that one that really good ring that drops off those uh, I think it's the big is that the, the big gold knights or the big gold skeletons? Oh, idiot. Um Pull chain. Pull chain. There we go. Yeah, that ring took ages. And I think... Is that the chakram or one of the like flying swords, like the rune sword or something? It took me ages to get. There's two really cool flying swords in that game that like nobody ever gets. I'm not talking about the familiar. I'm talking about swords you actually throw and then like they return to you, like boomerangs. Ragged old work jacket, you ruffle through, you find a key. Uh, what key? Andrew's trailer. Okay, cool. We got a trailer key. Looks like these might have been jars of jam, pickled vegetables. No, just disgusting. Batteries. <gasps> I have a flashlight, thanks God. <laughs> Genesis 1-3, I know what that one is. Boop, there we go. Can anyone truly know the joy of the absolute truth? Freedom that comes with releasing all of one's doubt. So much like ballast in the sea. I know that feeling now. For so long I searched. Bad 
Adventists. So the Catholics were idol worshippers and perverts. Baptists were hypocrites, Pentecostals infested by charlatans. Hmm. Fools and liars, but Father helped you see. Hello, Rask. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are exploring a cultist farm. Don't worry, everybody's dead already. The first time I met Father James, I was immediately filled with a sense of peace. It's hard to explain. I guess he just seemed so sure. He asked if I was a believer. I said I'd been raised Catholic, but it never clicked. There's a reason for that, he said. They've been lying to you, all of them. And I knew he was right. Um, it's the the Austin one isn't. I don't think it's a reference to Genesis 3.16. It's like... I'm trying to remember. I actually, I, I used to be a pretty big wrestling fan. I grew up in North Carolina, so I, I apologize for nothing. John 3.16, thank you. I knew it was one of them. Bags of seed, weed killer. Full of garden and farm implements, still kicked an old greeter. And is that cereal? <laughs> oh, Leonard. Leonard, you glutton. All right. <coughs> Check out the barn. Can I ride the tractor? I'd love to ride the tractor. That would be cool. Yeah, I watched, uh, I watched wrestling back when I was in middle school. It was entertaining. I was I was at the argument over whether it was real or not was stupid. Like obviously it's scripted, but the stuff that those people do is so physically impressive. Like I Blood has seeped out from under the door and soaked in the dirt. Flies still swarm the area. As you do, your metallic smell arises. Rust or no? I have a generator key in Andrew's trailer. Ugh. 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 Okay. So it's both sides. All right. Well, obviously, obviously, we'll be coming back there later. It's not promising. I mean, presumably this cult kicked it a long time ago. Like, this wasn't a recent development, so there should not be fresh blood here, I don't think. Assuming this is locked? Yeah. All right. Um, I guess we will scoot over to Andrew's trailer. <coughs> How long ago did this cult kill themselves? I don't think it really specified... I know, I know the date. Wait, no, no, it was uh, 1993, wasn't it? Or is that current date? I can't. My brain is not working right now. So somebody, somebody clue me in. Is it, is it, is this game set in 1993 or did the cult kill themselves in 1993? All right, let's find Andrew's trailer. It's obviously not the open one. Um, it's Aaron. There were two locked ones over here. Oh. Alana. I don't think it was, that's Lillian. Julian Ellie. No. Andrew, 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 like the hurricane. Anne, Henry, Josiah, Leonard, you're, uh, no, Leonard's the glutton. Oh, uh, we can get there later. I bet stuff full of snacks. Christopher, what the hell? Peyton. Yeah, 
Hey, bleh. Bleh. I feel like I checked them all. Elroy, no, I didn't check them all. Hope. That one's tipped. I'm obviously not getting there, that one. Diane. Wait a minute. There's a, it's on the map, you idiot. It's on the map. Straight in from the entrance. Alright, where's the entrance? There's the entrance. Andrew, right here, right here. Maps. Maps. Thank you, Heart on this. I do appreciate it. Okay. Uh, there we go. Of course it's F. I'm going to explore a bit first. Key to Viola's trailer. Letter. Andrew, I greatly enjoyed our talk earlier. I'd like to continue. The children will be helping sow the fields tomorrow. So I'll be alone if you'd like to stop by. Sow my fields. Oh, there we go. Brian, I love you. You're my brother, but you do not know what you're talking about. It's my family now. They love me and I love them in a way that... Sense of scale. The trailers are microscopic. They're absolutely tiny. Like no, no trailer unless it is like. I mean, these things are the size of those little compartments that people put on the back of pickup trucks. I I guess they exist, but yeah, it does seem kind of odd. <laughs> Okay, hang on a sec. The Catholic Church says we're awaiting Christ's return when they full, full well know better. The rest of Christendom believes them. Perhaps we'll never know why the Lord waited for Father James to correct the record. Huh. The third coming. It's an Evangelion tie-in. Life with the flock was good. We would meet for morning prayer with Father James in the chapel then meet for breakfast, and then we'd set off to work for the day. Some of us worked the fields, others worked on expanding the compound. We had a school teacher, we had cooks. <coughs> In the evening, we would study scripture or listen to one of Father's lectures. Then it would be time for penance, more prayer, and then sleep. Penance. I slept better those early nights than I had in years. I was home. Do you know how good it feels to find home after so long? I would have done anything for Father. He saved me. Penance. Penance. I hate that concept. I hate the concept of original sin. Like, to me, it, it strikes me as a way to just... Like, generate an obligation for someone to listen to your teachings. It seems like an excuse. Is there... Oh, yeah, light switch dogs over here. Boop. Oh, cute. I was, like, the, mo the most detailed model in the entire game so far. Teddy. Uh, I've forgotten what love felt like. I thought all the years suffering under Eric's thumb had ruined me. Thought there was no hope for happiness ever, ever again. But I was so, so wrong. I feel safe here. I'm so blessed to be a part of this flock and to help ensure that my dear children taste the fruit of eternal life. Juliet, we will need to be patient with. <laughs> you would say that, not a real life. Oh, thank you, Hieronymus. Hieronymus. Last, laugh in the face of truth. He is rotten with sin. He will get what he deserves. Oh, Lord Jesus. Please give me guidance. I was only doing what he he asked of me. I was doing it for him and for you, but I'm two weeks late now and throwing up every morning. 
I don't know who the father is. It could be James. It could be, do I to be happy with me or furious if I sin? What cleansing? Let's see. Okay. Obviously, obviously you've left out some extremely important details in your cult. There need to be guidelines for these things because this is the first thing people are going to do when they all get cooped up on a compound with nothing else to do. Lillian, forgive me if I'm speaking too freely, but I care deeply about you and where you're having doubts about the father. You're young, I understand where you're coming from. I, Lillian, I think, is who we're listening to. Not a real like, thank you very much for subscribing. It's our two month anniversary. Ah, oh, so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I will treasure it. <clears throat> Father James is a prophet of the Lord. He speaks the true word if you need proof. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, apparently you have to manually re-up your subs. One of my other subscribers told me that. It's kind of weird that's not automatic, but I mean, it's better for you guys. <laughs> my only God. I need, I need one of those with a halo or something. I will see you tonight for alternative cleansing in the rectory. Come early, I'm going to talk about. Know the day I received my first vis vision. <laughs> Oh, hey, Cragger. Oh, thanks, buddy. Man, you are too good. Yeah, but Twitch was faster. All right, the day he received his first vision is the code for the rectory. All right, help me remember that. I won't remember. Lesson plan, discussion of Matthew, discussion of the lies of the false churches, discussion of field work, book of Serial. This is the word of the angel Serial given unto, man, unto the man James in the time before the days of taking. Serial came unto James to return from the unrighteous war. So this is a war veteran. Made the Vietnam War? Angel appeared under the, I mean, that's the most unrighteous war I could think of from that period. Since this takes place several decades ago. Uh, angel spoke. <laughs> Be not afraid, man, for your chosen as a messenger. The words of the Lord's words. Interesting. All right. We were chosen, all of us, by the Lord. Do you know how good that feels? To be chosen? I hope you do. It's a feeling we all need in our lives. And on top of that, Father James took a special interest in me. He said he felt spiritually invigorated by my presence and often called me to the rectory to spend time with him. Not dumb, I knew, but I didn't care. I was so honored to be his chosen. With his dick. So, there is, okay, did I get any, no, I didn't get any new keys, but uh, the rectory. So we just have to figure out the date of his original vision. Wait, was that here? Was that part of the lesson plan? Huh. I mean, it's, it's always good to be a cult leader. Who's going to question you? All right, um, the community center might have some information on when he had his first vision, so I'm going to run back there. That seems... This game is really good about um, leaving the trail of breadcrumbs. <coughs> you find it in the school. Uh, oh. All right, check out the school then. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's more of a mystery walking sim. Cult's long since dead. We're just trying to figure out what exactly happened here. I don't know if we're a reporter or just somebody, maybe a family member or one of the cult members that kicked off. But yeah, we're just exploring. Uh, <coughs> 
We did go by the uh, the barn, and there's fresh blood seeping out from under the doors. So, might be something horrific in there. There we go. All right, that's cool, roguelike. Um, I think this game's about an hour. Oh, we've already been playing for 45 minutes, and we're like maybe not even halfway through. This might be a pretty long game. Um, I tell you what, you could just hang out in Discord for a while. Uh, I'm sure when we finish this, somebody might come and get you. If I remind them, I might not remind them. I don't know. Just pop in periodically. Look, the important thing is do what you gotta do. Lucas, John, Julius, Jack, as you rest the pockets, find nothing. There's a book over there. Oh, no, I want to look at that. Mm. All right. Trudge through, there is no trudging through binary domain. It is pure undiluted joy. Mulching scrap heads. Juliet, honey, why are you so stubborn? Why do you reject the flock's love? You don't pay attention to class. You don't try hard. Well, maybe she don't want to be in the cult. Maybe she just wants to be a regular kid. Oh, hello. Big role model for... for a big role model for me is Father James, who's a prophet of Jesus and a great person. who's going to save all our souls and let's go to heaven. Father James is funny and smart too. He makes jokes during his talks that make everyone laugh. He shows you can be a very good person if you're a little bit weird looking. It's when the inside that matters. Wonderful work. Father will be so proud. Anne is my biggest role model. She is a perfect wife and mother to us all, just like Mary. Do, 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 do. Great work. And we're so proud to hear this. You'll have many chances to be like her in paradise. Yeah. I'm going to skip Juliet's for a moment. Leonard and Peyton are my role models. They know how to fight and how to protect the flock from Satan and secular bad guys. <laughs> My role model is Jesus because he's perfect and he loves everyone. I want to be more like Jesus. See me after class. Interesting. Yeah, we just write that. Very interesting. You make up fade writing from the last lesson, the first revelation of the day, Father James received the truth. first revelation. So there's got to be something in here. <clears throat> Feast of the first revelation, June 3rd. June 3rd, 6, 6, 3. Okay. Celebration of the crucifixion. Okay, so. Was Jesus like a false prophet to them? The illustrated book of Bible stories, some of the pages are torn out. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right, so that should let us into the rectory now. What is that back? Oh, that's the rectory back there. Okay, perfect. Hmm. So religion is not, like, it's not a big part of my life. I think I'm much more of a humanist. I would prefer humans to be concerned with human concerns and take care of ourselves. Um, but my mother, my mother took me to church every Sunday when I was, when I was still living at home. And we went to a, a, a UCC church, United Church of Christ. That should be 06. And honestly, it was it was a wonderful experience. Like I really, there we go. Like the whole thing about it was it was just extremely welcoming and extremely positive, and like everyone was just there for support. Like everyone just wanted, you know, like 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 God and Jesus could be whatever part of your life you wanted them to be. They could be a focus, they could be support, they could be a novelty even, and they were just cool with everything. 
And the pastor was seriously like one of the best people I've ever known in my entire life. So it gave me a, overall a very, a very positive impression of religion that stuck with me. But seeing that in contrast, oh, there we go. I'm just clicking on the light in here, I guess. Ew, what the hell? But yeah, see, um, seeing that, my experience in contrast with the way that religion is used in a lot of cases to kind of coerce people into doing things, into like giving up their savings or like following clearly unrighteous people, like, I think it's all in how it's used. I think that's that's what's important. I don't think there's anything wrong with it inherently, because my my ex, my personal experience with it was only positive. But I know that it can be used for extremely negative means. Um, we know conspiracy can trace itself back as far as the fourth century. Oh, we've been there. We've done that. There's three sets of books with three different descriptions. By the way, was there a tape recorder in the school that I missed because I was busy talking? I tell you what, when we leave here, I might pop back, pop back by there and check. God damn it. I knew it. Sin is our debt. New teachings have been bestowed upon me by the angel Serial. The doctrine of alternative cleansing has been revealed. Sin is the intersection of unclean vectors. When one is fully cleansed, how can sin come from that act? To know deeply a truly cleansed body is to be cleansed oneself. That is to lie with one who is fully cleansed is to... Uh, uh. All right then. Camcorder aimed at the bed. You hit the eject button in front of the VHS tape inside. Yeah. We've all been given our purposes by the Lord, and if we listen close enough to our hearts, if we pray hard enough, we can feel that purpose coursing through us. To excel in our God-given purpose is its own form of cleansing. Some of us are called to labor in the fields. I like the little creaking in the background. Some are called to train. <coughs> Others to teach our children the true way of things. The Lord calls upon many women to provide succor and relief. Now those of you with husbands may be rightly confused. Is this not a sin? I ask you... Do you not love the Lord more than your husband? Would you deny the Lord himself your love? I am his flag bearer. Trailer. Oh, trailer master key, cool. My sweet sweet, they have a very important task for you. There's a deceiver among us, a lion snake who intends to bring ruin upon the flock. This is a test and proves our faith. Ask that you use your feminine charm so you get close to the men in the flock. Andrew Leonard paid Jesus. The world is a wicked place and redemption can only be found through Christ. This is the truth. And that was known to the Lord's flock, they did not heed the word. The Lord Christ ascended in final judgment some 1,000 years ago as foretold in scripture. Among many found not one true believer. The angels wept. The covenant was kept as it must be. None were given eternal life at the feet of the Father. Two hundred generations, man has desecrated the earth, given unto them, they murdered each other. Known sinful women lusted after false gods, they do not deserve to be saved. Redemption can only be found through Christ. But, hmm. oh, okay, thank you, Hieronymus. Red satin sheets, pillows askew. Well, we have to head back to the trailer park anyway, so. 
Oh, you're right. Each of these, each of these clusters of book is, books is a different one. They should have highlighted individually. The role of man is to protect and nourish the flesh. The role of woman is to protect and nourish the soul. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous. They might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. So I wonder if the thing is like, yeah, like Jesus, Jesus came to save, but like his words fell on deaf ears. So now it's James's turn. <coughs> We've all endured great suffering. As Christ suffered, so have we. Suffering is the divine currency. We can exchange one form of legal tender for another. I know some of you fear the cleansing room, I understand, but bodily pain is temporary. This is your choice. Bleed now from temporary wounds of transient flesh or suffer eternally. Ugh. So the clen cleansing is torture. I have to clarify a few points of confusion. I am not the Christ, only Christ is the Christ. I am the prophet of Christ, his messenger of flesh, a vehicle of the word. It just occurred to me, if you clip this out of context, it's going to sound super messed up. <laughs> Nobody do that. Um, my teachings are directly transmitted from our heavenly, heavenly Father. Great. Good for you. Dude, guy. Is this a light switch around here? That light switch is for there. Doesn't look like there's anything to interact with over here anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that was for that room. Where's the is there a pull cord? I'm having trouble finding the light switches I actually want. That's a spacious bathroom, my god. I bet I'm tired. At the stairwell. Flashlight. Obsol. I'm so sorry. I am so bad about that. Another night sleeping downstairs. I don't mean to complain. I hear James and the others from in here. So happy, so fulfilled. Something that's driving me out. My algae is crazy. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's a cot. Sleeping in the storage room? R, B, A on the main menu. <laughs> That's some kind of Easter egg, isn't it? RBA. Would I need to plug in a controller for that? Oh, there's the damn light switch. And there's that one, okay. All right, well, you know, I should just be using this all the time. Yep. Beyond these doors is a sacred place. Only fully cleansed believers who've been I don't think it's the trailer master. I don't see how that's useful. It's a cheat though. Okay. It's cool. As we're progressing through the game, the sun is going down. Oh, that's so creepy looking. The red light streaming through the windows. Blech. Gross. All right. <laughs> Doink. All right, let's stop by the school and grab that tape. Oh, hold sprint as you click new game. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know, good to know. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I often helped Viola in the schoolhouse. I enjoyed working with the children. We taught them reading, writing, scripture. Viola was one of the most faithful among us. If Anne was like the mother of the flock, I Viola think I found a bug. Sister. I remember one lecture she gave the children on the nature of hell that was so vivid, so unflinching, it had the kids in tears. I told her she was scaring them, and she said, Good, they should be scared. Messed up. Not cool.
Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing. There's so many different ways to navigate all of these obstacles. But, I mean, just consider the amount of development time it would take to account for all those possibilities. Okay, we're going to try every single one of these now. I'm guessing it's not going to open Peyton's door, though. No. We're going to need a special key for that. Not exactly full of snacks, but ooh, bolt cutters. I see how that's useful. You always need bolt cutters in this game. In these games. Leo, it's gotta be him. I'm certain he hasn't talked yet, but I have no doubt. Scrounge around his trailer and see finding leverage. We busted the lock grabbing last night, so you have to use your bolt cutters. Oh, 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 oh. So maybe I can get a Peyton's place. Thou shalt not kill, but it's not that simple, is it? Kill, oh, Leonard killed somebody. She was drinking. It's like three fifths of whiskey. <coughs> the deceiver changed Father James, though only a few of us seemed to notice. He had new revelations almost daily. Uh, isn't that convenient? Doctrines changed. Actions that would have been terrible sins previously were suddenly permissible, while seemingly innocent behaviors became mortal sins. The others seemed to have no problem going along with it. I wondered if something was wrong with me. Father grew visibly agitated, and as adamant as he was about the sanctity of his new revelations, something was different. He was scared, and that scared me. Hmm. Super curious what's in here. Bloody shovel. Oh, that was it. Okay. Well, I know what to do with this. Transmit code, encryption code, compromise, need, do not... Frontal raid, armed mill, okay. Yeah. Change my lock, we suggest I left a copy of the new key under the tree near the fire pit. Okay, that's what we need the shovel for. Okay. So, this guy was a plant. Yep, Peyton was the deceiver. Father James Israel, born Donald McKittrick. Born Idaho, early 50s, Viet Vietnam vet. Honorably discharged. Born again, late 70s, criminal record. Larceny, drug possession, vagrancy. Oh, married to Ann McKittrick. Amphetamine addiction, receives visions from an angel named Serial starting in 1986. Left former church and found a perfect heaven of life. Purchased the ranch 1991. Anne McKittrick. Excuse me. Completely loyal, complete loyalty to husband. Andrew Custer. Viola DeWitt. Makes me think of Booker from Bioshock Infinite. Two children recently divorced, frequent consort, Father James. Leonard Vanderhoff, former police officer, National Guard, military train. Oof. James promised to help him get clean. Worked for a little while. Access, access to weapons, trains group members. Dangerous. Lillian Carter, born in San Diego, recent college graduate, some useless degree. Yeah, this is who this is who we hear on the tapes. Often goes to rectory for alternative cleansing. Yeesh. So you can go to cleansing and get bled out, or you can go to alternate cleansing and get screwed. I mean, choice there seems pretty obvious. Oh yeah, I've been at Andrew's trailer. I'm gonna check that morning. Click, 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 click. 
and I've been in here, right? This is... Yes, I have, okay. <laughs> Funny it wouldn't let me in. Master key doesn't seem to work on this door, strange. Lilia, hmm, fascinating. All right, well, oh, because uh, Lillian's key is under uh, under the tree. That wasn't much of a master key, it just opened uh, Leonard's. Hmm. This is very interesting. Oh man, that house looks creepy. That's so cool. This game's got a great look to it. I think I think it's perfect for the subject matter. Yep. All right, back we go. This is a little silly. I mean, I was just in the trailer park. I had to find an item, leave, and come back just to just to get into another trailer. It wouldn't be as noticeable if you went over there and found the key and the key was like to the church or some other part of the map. It's just this specific doubling back makes it very obvious. All right, what is up? Oh, cute, she has little lights strung up in here. Happen upon one of the books you purchased while on trip into town. Godless worldview is powerfully poisonous. Promises of pleasure without consequence and freedom from rules. But here you know true freedom, freedom from sin. Because of all the rules we heap upon you. Forgive me if I'm speaking too freely, but I care deeply about you. I worry that you are having doubts about the Father's teachings. You're young. How can the absolute truth change so rapidly? First, the doctrine of cleansing, and the doctrine of alternative cleansing. Which changed the rules against extramarital sex and polygamy. Another revelation pronounced privately only to a few of us women. Is this God's plan for us to use our bodies as tools? Cleanse. Oh, that's going to be gross. Can I tell? Are you in a cult? <laughs> <coughs> I totally should have bookended this with uh, Cults of Simulator. Yeah, the ambient sounds are fantastic. Sorry, I mean, that was just basically a checklist of everything we've been picking up through these notes. I know you're beginning to doubt. Father James not what he says he is. If you want to talk more, hang around after evening prayer. I'll linger too. I can help. Note to let him. That's probably from uh, Peyton, would be my guess. He risked his life coming to me. Somehow he could tell that I was wavering. I'm still not sure how. This is tape eight. It was from the FBI. Like Twelve. Said and he was here to investigate the group as a cult. When he said that word, I told him to go to hell. I almost went right to Father James, but I didn't. Oh, thank God. He left me a pamphlet that talked about the signs of a dangerous cult. At first, I refused to it's read it. The FBI what was going the point? Out pamphlets. How could that have anything to do with our group? But I did read it, and even though my entire brain was screaming at me, I went back to him. All right, gang, I believe it is cleansing room time. I'm ready to be cleansed, I don't know about you.
I'm filthy. Filthy, filthy man. This game feels like a good reminder that we can't necessarily take for granted that a group that we fall in with is always going to have our best interests in mind or that their ideology will necessarily stay consistent. The cleansing, oh, the cleansing room is the barn. Oh. Oh. All right, guys. Yeah, this is, oh, seriously? That's interesting, though. All right, guys. Blood is seeped out from under the door and soaked in the dirt. Flies still swarm the area. That means, I mean, that's that's telling me it's fresh-ish. All right, here we go. That's kind of weird. <laughs> it wasn't really what I was expecting. <coughs> Ooh, soundtrack kicks in. Sin is thy debt, pain thy currency. Oh, black and blood is seeped in the cracks of the altar. Pick up bloody axe. I'm sure this will come in handy. What do we got here? Turn the lights. There we go. Guidelines for cleansing. Improper thoughts, lust. Oh, that's, a, that's rich. Three cuts with a small blade. Doubt. Five. Doubt. Five cuts with a small blade. I. Mm. Doubt is one of the most essential parts of our reason that we have. Doubt everything. Don't disbelieve, but doubt. Every idea deserves to be challenged, even those you, that you support. Because if you doubt them and you can have those doubts answered, then you have every right to believe in that idea. But if you just believe things blindly, you end up in places like this. Stealing one finger or one hand, sloth, whip lashes, name in vain, five cuts lart, Rui. murder, rape, idolatry, the violating body part, hand, genitals, eyes, yeesh. Oh, cages. Oh, those are the tools. Oh, those are all the tools they used. Oh, gross. Jesus. Oh, no, this one doesn't open. That's weird. I guess this is where they whipped people? Oh, ugh. Ugh. This game's doing good on atmosphere. I don't really have any reason to expect jump scares, but the atmosphere of this is just so creepy. I don't want to know the lights. Ah, okay, well, hopefully, hopefully we'll be completely done before he gets here. But we'll see. We seem to be making pretty good time through this. This is take nine, so. Uh, the Lord is infinite love and compassion, not forsaken those who have forsaken him. No man is without the cloud of sin. The light of the Lord shines brightly. Cleanse thyself of sin by way of self-sacrifice. Give up thy blood, thy flesh. Ugh. No. No, it's gross. Shut up. He called it the cleansing room, where we would exchange pain in this realm for forgiveness in the next. We'd all gather in front of the altar, and one by one, we would declare our sins to the flock, each of us given penance to perform in front of the others. Bloodletting, self-flagellation. I saw men break their own bones, and women cut off a finger that had caused them to sin. It was true devotion, and it was terrifying and wonderful to see. Lillian, girl. All right. 
I I have to wonder if there are any cults that actually practice this kind of like ritual mutilation. Because it occurs to me as being extremely effective as as a deterrent against disobedience. Like fear of that ritual would absolutely keep people in line. But at the same time, I think it would also hasten on the cult's end because inevitably you would have some people who would suffer that abuse and it would be too much for them and they would break away and bring the authorities down on them. So I'm, I'm wondering if there's been any actual attempts at practicing such things, practicing such things. Uh, we need the ax to chop through this, huh? Something here has been covered by hastily nailed wooden boards. Interesting. Nothing about the mines has been mentioned so far. Nothing. Oh, I don't like this. I would not do this. This this would be where I call in backup. Oh, I... Mmm... Mmm... Mmm. 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 Oh. Yeah, oh boy is right. What do you mean? I don't see how that's useful. Oh, it's run out of gas. Oh. Uh, grumble, grumble, grumble. Send it back up, call it back down, stand under it. <laughs> Wait, hang on, there's a side path here. <sighs> Alright, this is... I'm not gonna lie, this is making me tense pretty hard. I don't have any reason to believe there's anything down here. There's nothing supernatural about this game. And following these blood stains suggests to me that it's probably, it might be Peyton. Like they might have come after him, wounded him, and then he ran off into here to try and escape and end up bleeding out down here. but this still has me tensed up incredibly tight. Uh, how's it? I see, I think I see a body back there. <coughs> oh, I can't beat on it. Okay, so we're gonna need some kind of rusties. This is the only way we haven't gone yet. Ah, weapons. All right, so this was Leonard's doing. What the hell is this? Contingency, our secular enemies see our imminent salvation, find themselves filled with jealousy and rage. We must be prepared to protect the flock. Training drills time Thursday, mandatory for all in the flock. Children included, cruel. Ooh. Same thing? Yeah. That said Henry. Henry was able to use his contacts. I thought Leonard was ex-military. There we go, oil.
Um, this was their shooting range. I know I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here, but I really, I really appreciate the game's restraint in not busting out jump scares here. It'd be a very easy thing to do. I think lesser indie horror games would do that, but this game doesn't need it. Like this is just the atmosphere is very convincing. God, girls, guns, all you need. I mean, you, you take you take morals and ethics out of it, and yeah, I mean, James had pretty sweet setup here. Decomposing body curled in the fetal position. That's not the fetal position. A note falls from the corpse's pocket. Yeah, L, I got your delivery. I made a copy of the keys to James's room last night, but I think Andrew noticed. I'm going to hide the copy somewhere. We both have access to it in case something happens. Look in the southwest. Oh my god, the cornfields? Okay. Southwest corner of the cornfields. I think it might have been my fault. They found Peyton. Oh. We were seen together too often, maybe. But how would they know? Maybe they saw the pamphlet? I don't know. I don't know, but I can't shake the feeling that it's my fault. Mm. It doesn't matter. They found him. They told us he had decided to leave the flock. <laughs> I didn't believe them, but I didn't ask any questions. After that, we moved on. So to speak. It was like he had never been there at all scared me, but instead of trying to get away, I just let myself fall deeper in. I did my best to shut out any doubts. It was easier that way. It was path of least resistance. I mean, after what she'd seen, I mean, she'd be risking death trying to get out of this. So I have a gas can now. Ah, uh, 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 uh. I didn't try the elevator once I got down here, but the power shorted out, didn't it? I, I can't get back up until I power that generator back up, huh? Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Let's follow the tracks back. I, I would not be able to handle being down here. I'm not claustrophobic, but I've been in a couple caves with my parents, you know, like like tourist trap caverns and stuff. Not tourist trap, like tourist attractions. <coughs> and there's a, a very distinct pressure in caves. Oh, what am I doing? There we go, okay. Ugh. Okay. All right, we're leaving, goodbye. Yeah, no jump scares, none. That was great. That was a very, very effective sequence specifically because of that. You know, they could have gotten like a cheap shout out of me. I would have jumped, I would have laughed it off. But it's instead like the, the atmosphere persists. You know, I still have that kind of creepy, like overarching creeped out feeling, especially since it's Nighttime now, in the middle of nowhere, and I have to search a cornfield for a key. And I fucking hate how those doors wait like an entire minute to close behind you. Okay, so north is that way. This is not going to make any sense to you on the camera. <coughs> so southwest would be, okay, southwest would be absolute opposite end past uh, the shed. That's not so bad. <clears throat> yeah, I think at this point, like just the concept, because I've been running around in it and experiencing it, the concept itself is my, ah, oh, there we are, is what's creeping me out. The idea of being all alone, so this is for dude guys, 
I think that's for James's room. So we're gonna go back to the house. Like the concept of running around all alone in a remote compound that nobody has been in in years, where a creepy ass cult killed themselves, and poking around in torture rooms and going down into their minds. Just thinking about any aspect of that, like actually experiencing that, super creeps me out. That's effective atmosphere. Honestly, that's what more horror games need need to shoot for. You know, this doesn't need monsters. This doesn't need things jump. It doesn't need loud stingers. Just what it is, is is enough. The concept, the concept and how it is conveyed is enough to make this creepy. All right. I'm, I'm a little creeped out to go into here. I mean, they've made a big deal about this. We've been through a lot to get this key. And this note, you know, beyond these doors is a sacred place. The Lord protects us from trespassers will suffer mightily. I know that's not going to happen, but at the same time, given everything we've experienced and all these people who put their devotion into this guy and believed his words, kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? And of course, this looks creepy as hell. Yeah, look at this. Whoa, okay. Huh. I knew, I knew this was the door. It was just the door. But I was so focused. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, honestly. I'll use a TV in a minute. Shoebox stuffed with baggies of white powder and glass pipe, blackened at the okay. So he's doing drugs too. Finally slept last night, spoke with the devil. He came to the foot of my bed to bargain for the safety of the flock, but lo, I outsmarted and begged me to stop my crusade, and I spat in his face, spat in the devil's face, and he shriveled away. Sin has physical mass. I have measured it in experiments and have determined the mathematical formula for determining a person's sin. Weight not visible to the naked eye requires special weighting device attuned to divine wavelengths. We'll build and test all flock to ensure cleanliness, especially Lily and Juliet Leonard. Wow. Oh God, I am gonna watch the tape, aren't I? Intended to wait for Juliet to come of age for a... Mm. Juliet was either nine or 11. I can't remember which. Dream notes, a great winged Leviathan emerges from the clouds speaking in radio waves surrounded by angels, Leviathan Spoke of the deceiver closing in, bringing unclean evil to the flock, infecting them with doubt and opening our gates to the outside world. Angels flew into the Leviathan's mouth and lit his tongue on fire. Breath of flame exploded outward and engulfed the world. In my dream, I understand, Lord. Citizen Arcane, welcome. So glad you could make it out tonight. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're pretty deep in the weeds to this of this. Um, Definitely check out the VOD afterwards if you get the chance, but I just, uh, I've been really impressed with this. I've been enjoying the hell out of this. A stack of old nudie mags, ranging from pretty tame to seriously perverted. <laughs> Tucked away under the bed, it's just, it's a 12 year old's bedroom. Nice. Uh, okay, another lock. Okay. Back, I say. Okay. Escape didn't seem to do anything there. Oh, um, I found a bug. <laughs> I'm just gonna mention this real quick. <coughs> I missed the tape in the school at first, and I ended up listening to the tape. God, those ambient noises get me. I ended up listening to the tape in the uh, camera room downstairs in the house here first. When I went back to the school and listened to it, the audio was correct but the subtitles were the same as for the one from this house. So I don't know if you wanna look into that or not. I mean, I'm sure you do. Right. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Years of must. A reprint of an etching of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. 
depicting Christ's dead body being removed from the cross at Golgotha. Yep. Mm. All right. All right, let's do this. My flock, I have wonderful news. No, no. <clears throat> My flock, I have wondrous news. The days of reckoning are upon us. Some of you may be afraid. Damn it, no. My flock, I have wondrous news. <laughs> the days of reckoning. I had a feeling. Be not afraid. <coughs> this is the day we have been working towards all this time. The focal point of all history. The end point of all creation. You have a very evocative back. I have seen the signs. I have heard the word of the Lord. I speak the word of the Lord. I am the word of the Lord, yes, that's good. <laughs> Three, five, six, nine. <laughs> Three, five, six, eight. Shit. And and what's the code for the damn safe? Four. <laughs> I have seri- I, I cannot think of another game that gave a code that way. That's great. Okay, so that was- what was that? Three- I think it was three- three, six, nine? Four? Was that it? Oh, nuts. Three, six, eight? Four? Guys, guys, I wasn't paying, I wasn't paying enough attention. Three, five, six, four. Thank you. Three, five, three, five, six, four. That's absolutely not a knock against how you put the code in in the game. Like I think, if anything, I loved it too much and I got distracted. Well, what? Praise be to the Lord. A temple has been revealed. Angels of the Lord have revealed specifications for a temple. The temple of the prophets should be a sacred place reserved only for Father James and his chosen. The temple will contain a single king-size bed, food enough for two people for 200 days, full copies of my scripture, weapons, and ammunition. The measurements. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. It was a very interesting message we got when we picked up the seal. Because I've been wondering all this time who we are. <laughs> I, I hate to tell you this, but uh, I think Hieronymus has been spilling all your hint line secrets. <laughs> <coughs> So real quick. All right, so it's just back up to the chapel then. Actually, wait a minute. It's gold paint on plaster. <laughs> yeah, I tried all the trailer doors. All right, we're doing this. Uh, if I can jump in here, I hope the answer is game creation. So I, I haven't seen any of your document, documentaries, so I don't know how amazing they are. I feel like I'm taking kind of a roundabout way up here. Yep. 
Let's go around the long way. Ooh. Uh, that makes me think there's something under there. I will do that. I will definitely do that. Man, that looks so good. That looks so good from up here. Place the seal on the door and here, click. All right. Okay. Even here, I'm kind of tensed. Not not from fear of scares, but like from revelations. I think there's a bush outside. <laughs> yeah. Same portrait. Okay. Oh! Don't be afraid. There's no need Whoa. to be afraid. We must go through the flames, but the flames will not hurt us. Not our true selves, our spiritual self. I know his will, and it's time. This world, it's molded in filth. It's too far gone. They sent demons test our resolve. They expected us to give up the fight, but okay. here, today, we prove to all of them that we never gave up. Our faith never wavered. Actually, at this point, poor today, everybody. We take our place at the foot of the throne of the Lord. Here now, we'll dull the bodies a little. There's no need for it to hurt. Here, drink this. Drink this. Pass these around. Things will go a little fuzzy, but then the flames will take us, and we will join our Lord in his heaven, we will be by his side forever, where we belong. Amen. Amen. Boy, I love each and every one of you so much. <laughs> God bless. That's when they locked the doors. And then Andrew and Leonard started soaking rags and lighter fluid while I, I started handing out the cups. Little paper cups full of crushed up quaaludes mixed with lemonade. Mm. Father kept preaching as we drank. They lit the rags and put them around the outer walls. Everything caught so quickly, as soon as everything was on fire and, and people just sat, sat down in it. Let it take them. Something clicked. I, I don't know what. I needed to get out. Fear, I probably. I didn't want to die. I remembered Father's temple, and I ran. Jesus. So wait, 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 wait. Father's temple. Wait, what? Oh no. Are we playing as Lillian? Yeah. 
Yeah, that bit unironically, Manny. Well, this is nice. It's pretty homey. Carpenter still wrestled from the few nights he spent here. Father's Temple. This is Father's Temple. When everybody, when everybody was committing suicide, she ran down here and locked herself in, didn't she? And then she escaped, and now she's come back. The door shut behind me, and everything was dark and completely silent, as if the burning chapel and all the people dying behind me didn't exist. Jesus. The drugs took over then, and it was all I could do to crawl into bed before I passed out. Holy moly. I'll check next. Stack of comic books. Cute. <coughs> oh, this one's also awesome. okay. Anything. We had terrible reception down here. Called the cable company, they said they can't help. I think they're just lazy. Uh, this is kind of. This is going deeper than I'm comfortable with. Full of spoiled food, the smell fills the room. Ugh. More guns? More guns! Just like God intended. What's back here? It keeps going? Oh, flashlight, no. Flashlight, please. <laughs> I think I can deal with an eternity of cheers reruns. Wait, what? This, this is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm. Uh. Now, who started the fire? Ma'am, I know you've been through a lot, but we need your cooperation to piece all of this together. Who started the fire? Um, pr pretty much everyone. <laughs> Good answer. Father James with the first flame, but the others helped it spread. So they weren't coerced? No. They were weeping with joy. People were singing. And you? What did you do? She ran. She ran like you're supposed to. How how do you put a human being out that has set themselves on fire? I mean, I, I can't imagine the trauma, but uh, come on. All right, all right, we're hustling. Something we did. Dad. I just don't understand how you could run off and join some insane cult. I don't know, Dad. I don't know. It's easier You're than a smart girl. What were you thinking? Lillian, the things I've heard on the news. Where are you going? Also, shut up. <laughs> I hate you. I love you most of the time, but I hate you right now. <laughs> oh, I'm. St what, you seriously? <laughs> yeah, the flashlight died when we got to that second ramp. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <coughs> Man, good thing the developer was there to save my bacon on that bit. So, Lillian, have you been having any more thoughts since your last attempt? Uh. All the time. 
seems as if you almost regret surviving the fire. Oh. I don't know. I I don't. It's so confusing. I didn't want to die, but I feel like I let them all down. Let them down because you didn't save them, or because you didn't die with them. I don't know anymore. Well, listen to me. No matter what, you deserve to live. I promise you. Lillian, you deserve to live. I... I need to go. I, I can't do this right now. I, I can't. Man, I can't imagine... I can't imagine how you even begin to deal with that sort of trauma. I mean, that's some really messed up survivor's guilt. want to hear me ramble about mechanical engineering for another 20 minutes. Tell me more about you. You studied communications, right? What kind of job does that get you? <laughs> well, right off the bat, not much. I, I couldn't find work, so I uh, ended up backpacking through Europe for a year after college. Yeah, I did that. Oh, cool. Well, just to a month, though. It was just Spain. But it was amazing. Yeah, it was super fulfilling to see all those different ways of life. Really eye-opening. God, that was a long time ago. Man, I'm jealous. Oh my god, I'm a video game character. Right work Working 70, what, 80 hours? You know how it is. Just expect to devote everything to it. It's like a, like a religion. <laughs> it took me a while to see how messed up it was. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm. Like I... I under like I, I get what's going on right now, but it still it still feels like we're augering towards something really terrible here. It's interesting because those little interludes like they're sad, but this this is creepy. <coughs> <coughs> Unheard message. First unheard message sent yesterday at 7.15 p.m. Lil, is, is everything all right? I've been trying to get a hold of you all day, but please pick up. I'm worried about you. Okay, just, just call me back. Love you. End of message. To delete this message, press 7. <laughs> Message deleted. Wow. Just listening to sounds here. Oh, it was freaking me out. It sounded like somebody was actually coming down after me. Oh my god.
I thought I could move on, pretend it hadn't happened. But here it is, I'm looking at it. I was here. We were all here. And now it's just me. Ah, oh, Lil, Jesus, there you are. I've been trying to get a hold of you for hours. Where are you? I... I, I had to take care of something. Look, just... Are you okay? I was getting worried. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Um, I'm heading home now. Tim? There are some things I need to tell you. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. <sighs> Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. She was so pleasant, so confident. She smiled at me as if she had known me as a kid, and we were just catching up after all these years. She told me she could tell I had a hole in my life. The smartphone makes me think it was within the last ten years. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling, and she laughed and said nothing. nothing she had a hole but it, here, but it was gone now. Was I like that. Bad I understood that reference. I asked her what had helped her. She just... <coughs> Wow. Okay. Okay. So that whole that whole last sequence, like I've been, if you guys have been reading my reviews this month, you know I've been playing a lot of these games where it's like the action takes place in the prison of your mind, and honestly, I'm getting kind of tired of games like that because I don't feel like any of them do it particularly well, particularly well, because they don't do it like this. Specifically, this starting out. You're in a very real place. You know you're, you're exploring a very real, very grounded place. It has a history, it has a story. And the further you get into it, you learn more of the traumas, more of like the psychological impact that it has. And then you get to that point where like the true trauma occurred and there's this seamless transition to that prison of the mind. That's what makes it effective because at that point, when I opened that second door and I saw that tunnel going down again, like, I wasn't sure where I was anymore. I wasn't sure if I was in the real world or in that mindscape anymore. And that's what makes that so effective. That's what made that whole ending sequence so effective. You know, if it's obvious that it's all just like this made up dream world or whatever, like, yeah, you can get a lot of cool imagery out of that, but it's not going to have that same impact. You know, it's explicit. It's explicitly the dream world, or it's explicitly the real world. But this was, to me, like the ideal blending of those two. So, holy cow. Wow. <laughs> that was excellent. That was super good. I loved, I loved the look of it. I loved the atmosphere. Um... That mind sequence, I can't, like, I keep thinking about that, like, how effective it was without a single jump scare or a single stinger or anything like that. Like, that really, that really surprised me, how effective that was. Yeah, that was, that was great. <laughs> that was straight up great. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm planning on posting a review for that tomorrow morning. So if you want to basically read all of that again, just restated. <coughs> no, dude, good decision. I um, if you if you go back and look and check the vod later, I I talked about that in when I was leaving the mines. Like you could, yeah, you could very easily put a jump scare in there, one loud noise, one suspicious shadow, nothing even nothing even explicit, but just something to like trigger that adrenaline. And yeah, 
you would get a rise out of people, you would get a little shout, a little nervous laugh. But I think the atmosphere that's built there just off of the environment itself without those active elements, like builds an understanding with the player an understanding that, you know, this place itself is the threat. There's nothing dwelling here that's the threat, but it's, it's the concepts, it's the oppressive nature of it that is the threat. And I think that's what generates dread instead of that really like visceral scare reaction. And dread is way, way, way more valuable to horror than just like shock. So yeah, I'm super impressed with that. Like I played a bunch of indie horror games this month and that was incredibly effective for for the tools that it used. So yeah, exactly. That's that's the best part of it. Yeah. <coughs> the most effective horror is the horror that you convince yourself of. And yeah, I think that game is really well designed for that. Um, yeah, I can't really think of any, any real weak points for it. I had some trouble finding the generator key in the beginning. And um, Hieronymus was nice and saved me a little bit of time wandering by letting me know like which doors were locked and stuff. So. Um, he could probably tell you my initial my initial notions were going to send me to places that were that were locked so i would have had to do significantly more backtracking i don't know that that would have necessarily hurt my opinion of the game very much because it's all pretty compact it's all pretty well in there you don't spend a whole lot of time traversing it but i i think someone who isn't able to follow the trail of breadcrumbs as effectively could get could end up getting frustrated with it so yeah that was awesome i hope you guys enjoyed that <coughs> so yeah that was sagebrush so let me okay so that took us about two hours we got an hour left i'm feeling pretty good even if i don't sound it so we're going to jump into that rpg i got mysterious realm so let me change what game we're playing if i can if they know it's here <clears throat> oh, and somebody go get uh, not a roguelike from uh, from Discord. Let them know we're done. Mysterious. No, it's not here. All right. Well, we're just gonna be we're just gonna be playing something random though. <clears throat> oh, don't worry about it. I'm just, it's, I'm glad you were able to come out. I'm glad you were able to see some of that. Um, I don't, I don't know if you've been giving, handing this game out to streamers or not. There's one that I am particularly in love with. Uh, his name is Mr. Craven. He does a lot of horror and, uh, and, uh, adventure, like similar kind of adventure games. He's also a really big fan of, uh, the lo-fi aesthetic. If you haven't contacted him, by all means, make him aware of this game. I think it'd be right up his alley. So yeah, um, okay, let me fire up this next game. Yeah, this is called, where did I put it? His name is not, <laughs> or you can give it to my friend, not a roguelike, who is super excited to play this game at some point. And he also streams on a very different time zone from me. Uh, oh my God, where did I put this game? Okay, Mysterious, Mysterious Realms RPG. I got this through Curator Connect couple days ago. Um, it's launching next week? Yeah, it's launching next week. It's an indie RPG. Supposedly it has a very unique combat system. So we're going to find out just how unique it is. And then I think this is probably going to be it for tonight. Um, we're still trying to suss out exactly what we're going to play on Wednesday's stream, next Wednesday's stream. Monday will be more Evil Within 2, of course. Uh, Monday will be the last horror, like indie horror stream of the month. And I've listed the options in Discord, so definitely get in there and discuss them. I think at this point, people have mentioned every single possibility. So This, this is not a horror RPG. This is just a, an RPG. So, um, yeah. I'm giving it a try because it's it's uh, this is pre-release. It's not out yet, so I figured this this is the time to check it out.
All right, here we go. That's quite a prologue. In a little known world created by the writer's sick mind, good and evil have been crossing swords and magical powers every day without mercy and forgiveness. <coughs> Two heroes were created, literally pulled away from the flow. Vurix and Sogoth. I'm not a big fan of fantasy names you can't obviously pronounce. Residents of a village and new creators. Great game. <laughs> this great game. Okay. And this hard time is necessary to be useful. Unfortunately, our heroes didn't give a damn. They were kicked out of the village. They were caught in the first major town. Times were cruel. If they do not want to end up on the noose, they must help the city in the fight against Great Evil. Alright, so we have two heroes. They're anti heroes. They don't want to be heroes. And they're kind of press game ganged into it. Did you seriously rage quit binary domain? <laughs> All right, we're gonna talk about that later. Oh, okay. Man, they just chuck you right into this. Click to skip, okay. And you can just say, okay, cool. Tutorial, good. In mysterious room, you control a group of two heroes. I'm looking at my face cam right now, and it doesn't look like there's any good place for it. I'm going to move it a tiny bit. Uh, I'm going to... the Christ am I going to do with this? I'm going to put it up here. It doesn't look like that section's really super important. Alright. This group is represented by one hero on the dungeon map. Okay. So we have a party. Alright, so we can was die. Okay, it's not grid based. It's free movement. That's cute. <coughs> I found objects, events, and enemies. Okay. Examine object using E. Poisonous, oh. Some objects made, okay. Thanks, dick. Item. Click on the item to add it to your inventory. Oh. Click the bag. Okay. Most of the items may only be used during the combat. Equipment affects health and armor of heroes and the power of the crystals. You can also check your... Okay, so this is spell scroll. Deals four to six damage to target enemy. Okay, it doesn't look like it can be equipped, so... Nothing inside. Now you can attack this group of enemies. Ching. Oh, interesting. At the beginning of the game, each hero has two skills. Each skill has its cost in aura. <coughs> there are four main colors of auras in this game. Red, blue, yellow, and green. To activate a skill, you must have auras of the required colors first. Oh, wow. Vita port. That's interesting. Anecdotal, but everyone I know, like whenever I tell them about some indie game, the first question they always ask me is, is it on the Switch? So. I live in Los Angeles, though. That might just be how we all roll. <coughs> you can generate such aura by place, playing crystal in the corresponding color. Red crystal generates red, but yeah, we get it. One crystal always generates one aura. Placing a crystal means attacking the enemy with a crystal in the desired color. Interesting. Each aura is available to use only for the hero who generated it. Okay. Alright, so. Goblin target. Attacking the goblin with a red crystal will also destroy the red and yellow crystal near its image. If during the same turn you destroy the blue crystal, you'll deal additional damage. Interesting. So if we attack with we attack. Oh. Giant green arrow. Click on the red crystal to deal two damage to the goblin and generate one red aura. How? Now you can use generate aura to activate one of the Vurx's skills, which needs exactly one red aura to play. 
Okay. Boom. Excellent. Attack the enemy has two crystals. The red and yellow was just destroyed. <coughs> and now we attack on the blue one. You always have to do it during one turn. Health crystals reset. Okay. So you want to combo enemies to death, it seems. Attack the goblin with the blue crystal. You can also attack it with a silver crystal and still... Oh, so this is like a wild card, I guess. Yeah. Tree is a special joker. Okay. You have two of those in the deck. Right click until it turns... Oh, oh, so you have to pick the color. Okay. Boom. Dead zone. Click the items. Slimy bone. Nice. Remains will be considered a salvage. 20 salvage makes an item. That's pretty simple. That's cool. Dude, seriously, if you if you make a game, tell the world. Tell everybody. I'm I'm a very small time reviewer and uh, streamer, but I contact everybody. And I'm always running across developers who are more than willing to give out like their games for me to try. And those are the ones like when I do research on them, like I see that like PC Gamer has done little little bits on them, Giant Bomb has done bits on them, Polygon. Yeah, so don't like don't ever assume that like an outlet is not gonna pay you any attention. Like contact everybody. Tell the entire world about your game. It's it's worth the attention. You can also use if you guys are watching this on YouTube later, I'm talking to the developer of Sagebrush. <laughs> Sorry you missed out on the comments. <coughs> uh, you can use items too. Each hero can play crystals and use potion drains move. Alright. Here's an enemy's attack in specific order, determined by their speed. Crystallite. You see crystallite for finishing the mission with a little luck. Okay. <coughs> Violet is for red and blue. Orange is for yellow and green. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I guess you're kind of stuck with orange, huh? Since green isn't a primary. Yeah, the salvage system is a nice idea. <coughs> Chair has a weapon. Weapon effects. The value of attack. The value of attack. Actually, Citizen Arcane, since we were talking about um, publicizing and streaming, that guy I mentioned, Mr. Craven, he's part of a uh, Twitch team called Robot College. All of them are pretty heavy into uh, horror and adventure games, and they do tend to kind of play the same game, so you might want to look into contacting all of them. Uh, you probably heard of John Wolf. He's, I think, the biggest one among them. He plays all kinds of stuff like that. There's other ones like Sinnoh Beats and Girl Gamer Gab. I think, the I think a majority of them would be interested in playing your game, honestly. <clears throat> Don't give up, dude. Like, you don't hear from one from one body, contact another and another and another. Just seriously, tell everybody. <laughs> okay, silver crystals can't be raised. Okay, that's a neat balancing trick. Uh, here's efficiency is divided by the values of three attributes: strength, dex, in. Affect the results. Click on the book. Okay, they don't really need to give me this right now after my first battle. Each hero gains experience after finishing the I know. Okay. 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 We're getting into kind of so Check the power of your crystals. 18 crystals. Oh, so you have a deck of crystals, kind of like cards. Once you use it up, it's for pledge by the same set. Four red crystals. Two of them deal two. Two deal one. If it's red, it's been played. Okay. And if it's yellow, it's in your hand. That's cool. That's a neat. That's a neat open. Oh, I, I know you haven't given up. I'm just. I, I want 
honestly, I want to encourage you as much as I can because I really enjoyed that and I really think more people deserve to see it. I had no idea it even existed. And you know, I'm out there looking for this stuff. I had no idea it existed until Hieronymus there linked it to me in Discord. And then I was like, I, had, I knew I had to play it. So I think there are a lot, I think you have a large potential audience out, out there that just is not aware that the game even exists. So. Rogue, like, you're not helping. <laughs> I didn't expect you to help, but you're definitely not helping. <coughs> Turn down bonus experience. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to start clicking through these because it's telling me a lot of stuff that I really don't feel like I need to know just yet. Oh my god, I forgot we were still in combat. That tutorial lasted so long, I forgot we were still fighting. Blue or yellow, okay. <coughs> Does moderate damage, okay. Red, blue, yellow, green, red, okay. You don't have to remember that, yeah, I know. Okay, okay, great, great. Great. Ah, oh, getting tutorial overload here. That's all about combat. I hope that's all about everything. Okay, so he does thing. He dropped a rock on me. Dick. Okay. That, that's nice. I like that. If it only hadn't been preceded by like 50 text boxes, I would have preferred it. Which doctor? Blue. But wouldn't I want to do green for more damage? So I blue and green. Okay. Okay, cool. So yeah, it's just two per turn. Okay. New turn. There we go. Two. Oh no, another rock. <coughs> oh. Loop. Loop. Oh my god, I did it. Broken tusk. Okay, fine, great. I can do this. I can do this game. You can believe in me. Oh, I lit a torch, that's cute. That's a gold. Alright. Claw, moderate, chance to cause bleed, low damage. All right, so the cave goblin is more dangerous, I think. Can we one-shot him? Oh. I keep wanting to do this backwards. No, I don't think we can. Explore. You don't you don't have to be a wordsmith dude, just right from the heart. Just imagine just imagine that you are trying to convince one of your friends to play this game that doesn't know anything about it. Like say it out loud if you have to. Dictate it. Like record yourself talking about it and then commit that to paper or text box, such as it is. Alright, um I don't have any reds. That sucks. Maybe three of this guy. <coughs> What's that? Nah. Let's just rid ourselves of this pesky goblin. Yeah, dude, the, the Steam review system is a straight popularity contest. In some senses, it doesn't even matter what you write. Just adding that plus one to the quotas like, can make a huge difference for developers. <clears throat> I 
keep doing that backwards. <coughs> I'm used to select attack and then select target. I'm not really sure why they decided to go backwards for that. Oh, nice, there we go. Dud. These are red right now. Okay. Bloop. Bloop. This should do it. Yes! I done did it. Oh, give me no, shut up, give me my gold. Exceptionally, this event has been highlighted. Normally it's invisible. Question mark appears over the head when it's close. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I really only meant it as like, don't, you know, if, if you want, if you want to support a particular developer, like writing a review is the most important part. Like, you know, ideally it should be a good review. It should be a useful one for people reading it. But yeah, that's just doing it at all is kind of like the most important part. <coughs> Interesting, a random event. Attribute checks or fate tests. Attribute check, roll a given number of greater. Until like five events. Is it real? Anyway, you better run. All right. Oh, cool. You actually roll. This is cool, you never actually roll things in RPGs anymore. So the numbers will be added to the roll numbers. Using crystals, specific items, or special skills to be heroes. Barks is range much lower, his intellect is lower. Uh, the focus on belief systems and cults, yeah. <coughs> oh, cool. <coughs> ah, so to avoid negative penalties, every hero that fails receives damage. Okay. Move the mouse over the image of the event. Let's check the description. You can use a crystal in any color. Crystals used in this way will lose one power, but oh, but only for the next use. Okay, cool. When you refill the deck, its power will be reset. Okay. Select the bonus. Click on crystal. Interesting. So now I have a, I have a zero power green crystal now. Can't use the second bonus because it requires a specific item. You can use it because Sovoth is a warlock. Click it. All right. Cool. So you need intellect five. This is one to six plus two. Okay, cool. Ha! <laughs> Did you see the little faces pop up? <laughs> Only one success is needed, so the check is passed. We don't care about you. The party receives bonus experience for Varx's fails. Even unlucky rolls bring for benefits. That's cool. So you should always give it a try. Nice. Press finish. Okay. Ugh. Mission. Guidebook. Options. If you skipped. You can watch, also watch this tutorial on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. 20 minutes. 20 minute tutorial. And we walk down an L-shaped hallway. All right. I, I appreciate it. <coughs> I, 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 I do appreciate the thoroughness of it, but it just, I really would have preferred them keep it to the essential information in the moment. Right mouse button while in town, okay. 
Like we did not, we did not, we absolutely did not need all that information at once. I found an exit. Mission complete. I did it. I did it. I had a bunch of stuff. Hardships mission. Okay. <coughs> Returns to the town after every mission. Here you can buy equipment and potions. Ah, uh, go to the blacksmith and witch. Full Q. Nice. All right. Cool. Blacksmith me. Hold shift. The X means can't use it. Click on an item. Inventory. Oh, middle click to destroy stuff. Okay. Oh, so I have no equipment. How much money do I have? 47 gold. So you have pretty basic armor. Dull sword, attack to hell. Wooden staff, one attack. Okay. Uh, before we do any of that, let's see what our options are here. Oh, which? Haha, <laughs> I knew that. Oh, okay, so we just use crystals for this. Um, Alright, where's my inventory? There we go, okay. Rearrange some stuff. Water lets you draw one additional crystal, increases damage of crystal used. Some armor. And just stop bleeding, okay, cool. Increase attack. No, I can't increase attack. And one health, I don't think would do much. So let's. Sorcerer and Iron Helmet. I love it. There we go. We'll go with that. Yep, Obsol, I think you and I are right on the same page. Healing potion. I'm gonna buy a bandage too, just because I hate status effects. Uh, does the Oracle do things? Oh, skills. Learn skills. <coughs> so you set active skills. Okay, cool. Can't really do much with that right now. All right, that's everything. Onward. Uh, Goblin Mound. The city builds. You can't read this. The city builds fortifications, but still the danger lurks on them behind the palisade. Any help will certainly be rewarded accordingly. Uh, objectives, collect items, cleanse the dungeon. I get a mace if I do this. We are barking the hell out of this. Oh, that's a good question. What were the inspirations for the aesthetics in Sagebrush? I've certainly seen other games in that vein, but it doesn't it doesn't feel lifted from anything in particular. See, I'd be interested in knowing where the idea came from. That was an item. Oh, poison. Yes. <coughs> Early survival horror. <coughs> Excuse me. I about knocked my headphones off my head. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. And whack a 
with the red, too. Good, he's got two yellows on him. Ah, uh, but I want to take this guy out. Uh, no, 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 no. I can use this. Maybe one, two. I don't think I can take this guy out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, we'll use corruption. We'll hit him with the green and the yellow. And we'll corrupt this guy. Cool. I like this battle system, it's clever. It takes a little getting used to, but. I know you say the lo-fi look was practical for Sagebrush, but I also think it worked really, really well for it. It left... I, I think the big advantage of lo-fi graphics is it leaves more to the imagination, so it's easier for the player to imagine things that aren't there. Even if they're not actively doing that, I think that sensation in the back of the head that you're not really getting the whole story is still present, and for a story like Sagebrush, I think it, it helps it a lot. <coughs> Toast. Boom. All right, so three creature groups. <coughs> yeah, I totally agree about the lighting. Oh, there we are. See a group of goblins on their scouting mission. Test fate to determine what happens. Fate check. They didn't really explain how fate checks work, I realize. Events. That's so funny. All that tutorial stuff they went through and they never really clarified how fate checks work. It looks like I can use salvage to increase my odds. I don't know what this is. I don't have, oh, I don't have enough salvage. Okay. Well, we roll. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I guess. I guess we got through it. Yeah, I think that that ambiguity in, in and of itself is a major reason why I like the lo-fi aesthetic. Oh, dude, we all are. I am significantly under the weather here. I'm just kind of riding an emotional high here. <laughs> I need 10 salvage to do that. No, I like my salvage. Mine. What the hell are we collecting? <coughs> I mean, people who are going to see lo-fi lo art as low effort, 
I don't think there's any getting through to them. I, every once in a while on Steam, I see people that are like, they just come out hard against like pixel art or like low poly art. They have a very specific idea of how a game should look and I, I don't think there's really any convincing them. <coughs> The system is simple enough so far. I just love smashing pottery. What is this? Oh, 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 it's a puzzle! Oh, cool! Hopefully there's a... Oh, I'm supposed to make an eyeball. That's what it is, I guess. Hang on, let me kill these goblin dogs first. And they'll figure it out. Cruel passive is much more likely to attack hero with fewer health. That's interesting. <coughs> I feel like a lot of... Um, a lot of games kind of overlook that. Like, they don't actively have their enemies make intelligent moves because I guess it would feel unfair to the player, but right here it's spelled out. Like, whoever whoever has the lowest health, they're going to focus down, so it's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. This guy goes first, but I don't think I can take him in one turn. No, I can't. So let's see if we can end this guy's turn. Yeah, the time of day changes in Sagebrush were really... That also gave gave the game... It helped with the oppressive feel. Almost like you were running out of time for something, even though you knew objectively that you weren't. Alright, so... For that, for that... So I guess this means the combo is plus two. Bringing that correctly? Yeah, that looks like it. <clears throat> oh, he did. Oh, that was all the monsters too. Uh, distortion module. Two intellect three, check fail. Power of two crystals in hands decreased by two. Well, I already finished all my combat. So na 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 na. -na. Roll it. Yay! Happy. I did it. We're gonna explore a little bit more. <clears throat> I wanna solve this puzzle. Oh, so that's what, I'm, oh, it's simpler than that. That's just what I'm supposed to set it to. Sideways Y. And the last one is branching path ish that way. A little hard. There we go. Nice. I... <laughs> I solved a mystical puzzle. A silver tre treasure chest appeared from the ether and it had two slimy fish in it. Why did I do that? Of course it's poisonous. <laughs> oh, I didn't kill everything in the dungeon. I just killed all the things I have to kill. Oh, this is great. It's Raging Strike too. Moderate damage to one target. 
Additional damage at 10 or less. Yikes. All right. <clears throat> okay. Well, Knuckles. What do you suppose is going on with his hands here? Is he... You think maybe he did this so hard he turned his hands into bloody stumps? These are the questions I ask. These are the questions that keep me up at night. <coughs> I wish I wish the combat effects were a bit more pronounced. Like that last turn I totally missed that my uh <laughs> I totally missed that my uh, sorcerer got whacked. Thumped upon, such as he was. I could use this. What does this thing do? Oh. The tooltip shows on the bottom for some reason. Alright, let's go for mutilate then. So we need yellow. And we need blue. Speed down. Alright, and then this guy. Well, we can do some damage. Can I click on this? No. It highlights for some reason when I mouse over it, but I can't click on it. Uh, let's see. I think I can take him out this turn. One. Yeah. And then you just hit him with something. Boom. Done. I like that there's thought involved. That you actually need to think about the process of taking enemies down. Primal Violet Crystallite. Try to open it. Which failed test decreases the difficulty of the next ones. At least two turns. I wonder what it means turns. Kick in the doors. I can use my rage potion. Oh, because I don't have a red in my. Uh, oh. Gasp. Huh. I wonder what that does. Let me try... Oh. No, I wanna... I wanna open it. There we go. My knight failed, but the wizard just smashed it in. Just the light. Sweet. Alright. We did it. Leveled up. Thank goodness for all those hardships, right? This is cute. <sighs> I tell you what, guys, I'm actually... I'm pretty winded at the moment, so I think I might just call it here. Uh, I'm going to look at the world map real quick. Yeah, it's just going to be another mission in the same dungeon, so... Or for the graveyard, so. <clears throat> I apologize for only running through this for like, I don't know what, 20, 30, 40 minutes? Oh, 40 minutes? Oh, okay. I don't feel so bad, though. But I just wanted to take a quick look at this. It's cute. It's a neat little game. I'm liking the combat system so far. Obviously, I don't know how it like expands past that. But it's a neat little system. I could see myself wiling away some hours on this. So yeah, I'll probably keep working on this, and then um, I might try to have a review for it in November. So yeah, I'm just I'm fading fast. So I think I'm gonna call it a night before I lose it completely. <coughs> anyway, guys, 
thank you all so much for coming out tonight, especially the developer of Sagebrush. Really glad you could make it out, and it was wonderful hearing your uh, feedback on the game. And also the development on it. Um, I loved it, so, and I think, I think it made really good viewing for everybody else, so definitely spread it around as much as you can. And then this, yeah, Mysterious Realms is coming out next week. Looks pretty cool so far. Um, yeah, I'll have a review for it sometime early November, mid-November, late November, I don't know. I'm happy to hear that, yeah. Come on, pop on back anytime, yeah. Uh, next stream's gonna be Monday. We're gonna be continuing our Evil Within 2 playthrough, which I'm intending to finish this month. Uh, Wednesday, oh yeah, y'all get in Discord and talk about what we're gonna play on Wednesday. I'm still trying to decide that. Yeah, uh, any new viewers, check below. There are links to all. Definitely check out the website. That's my main jam. Uh... <coughs> but yeah, pop into Discord if you want to continue any of these conversations, especially if you want to help me figure out what exactly we're going to play on Wednesday. We might continue Dead Secret Circle from last week. We might try some new stuff like Play With Me or Lucy or Disturb Beyond Aramore. Uh, if you guys are really interested in something new, I could try to grab one of the games that people have suggested. Hieronymus, thank you so much for the link to the Discord. Uh, yeah, and then next Friday... I don't have any plans yet, do I? I don't know, let's see. Let me surprise. Okay. So, I'll get out of this. Save. Game saved. Exit. Okay, cool. Once again, thank you guys so much for coming out. Hopefully I will see you on Monday. Until then, y'all have a good evening. I'll see you later.